We went over the mechanics of a cryptocurrency transaction, but what do we do when something goes wrong? What are some frequently encountered problems? Many transactions or many problems with transactions have to do with the fee attached. Let's say you have a transaction out there, you're trying to send some money to a friend, and put a really low fee uh, onto the transaction. There really isn't much incentive for a miner to come pick out that transaction to include it into a block. It's likely to be eventually included into a block because a miner might just be trying to fill it in and take whatever uh, they can get at the end. Um, however, if you have an insufficient fee, your transaction might just sit in the mempool. Um, it's not going to sit there forever. Eventually, the mempool refreshes, your cryptocurrency will be attributed back to you, um, but still would have to do that transaction again because it got bounced back because of an insufficient fee. A uh, really good thing about troubleshooting when it comes to blockchain technology, all this information is public, all the transaction details are public. There are handy tools called block explorers where you could enter in an ad address, block number, a transaction identifier, uh, searching by all that information in order to view all the network activity related to that information. Several different block explorers, they all reference the public data that is on specific blockchain. If you poke around a little bit at the different block explorers and compare blockchains, there are a couple characteristics that differ from blockchain to blockchain. We already went over block time, uh, the, amount of time uh, mine, uh, the amount of time it takes miners to find a block. Bitcoin is 10 minutes. Ethereum is around 10 to 12 seconds. Privacy, there's different privacy aspects. Those privacy coins are going to obfuscate a lot of the data that a public blockchain like Bitcoin keeps public. Every community values different things. Every community that's attached to a specific blockchain or cryptocurrency, they value certain things. There's reasons why they like the project. Uh, if you value privacy, you're gonna go for privacy coins. If you value openness, you might go to a public blockchain, a big public blockchain like Bitcoin or Ethereum. And they all have different algorithms that are used to solve the equations put forth for miners.